everyone and welcome to Islet Outlet's Winter Holidays and Christmas in July Spectacular. I'm Janet and I'm glad to be back with you today. We're really sorry we can't be with you in person, but we have a great demo planned and just like on the show floor, I'm going to display lots of holiday and winter themed card ideas. I'll also demo how versatile washi tape can be for making backgrounds before we close with a few new quarantine themed cards. Get eligible for a prize pack giveaway Enter by giving us your Brad ideas right here in the comments section. One winner for all the comments will be selected and notified. To celebrate this event, we are offering a show special of 20% off of every order, even on sale and clearance items in the store. Just use code uh, 20 holiday, that's 20 holiday from now through Sunday, July 26th. Stock up and get ahead of the busy holiday season, which will be here before you know it. Stay with me until the end because I'll be giving you a sneak peek of our newest Brad release and you're not going to want to miss it. Without further delay, let's get started with some card ideas. This one is so crisp and refreshing looking. It features our wide winter glitter washi tape with a thin strip of silver glitter underneath it. I'll let you in on a secret. This washi tape is our very most popular winter holiday tape and you can see why. It is absolutely stunning. Plus, none of our glitter washi sheds, so you never have to make a mess to get a beautiful glitter look like this. Don also uses our Cardinal and Cardinal Profile Brad set, as well as the Holly Brad set. These are so pretty, right? She also added some snowflake bling, pearl, and clear bling as well for final touches. And you could easily omit the Holly Brad and substitute one of our snowflake brads if you were looking to make a strictly winter card without reference to Christmas. Here's a great vintage inspired card that features two of our holiday washi tapes with a very vintage Santa and a date countdown washi staggered every other row. She used a holly brad and two of our pine cone brads and she added some red clear and green bling on the stamped pine cone and added three mini gold brads as an accent. Substitute our star foil and winter tree tape along with all clear bling on the pine cone and again you have a nice winter themed card. I want to get a good close up of this so you can see all the details. It's very pretty. This one is so cute I just want to hug it. Don combined four holiday washi tapes, one on top of the other in an angle in the upper corner and placed our strip bling in clear, pearl, and green for additional interest there and at the bottom of the sentiment. Don used the holly brads again here. These are so versatile they can go on just about every holiday card as an accent. But the cutest thing ever on this card is the kitty brad tucked into the Santa hat brad. This is a perfect way to combine two seemingly unrelated brads together. I just love this one. Like I said, it's so cute. And look at the great detail in this too. Here's a winter inspired card where Dawn made a scene of chunky icebergs for three penguins to play on. She used a card panel that had the gold foil design in it, but you could use any wintry blue background for a very similar look. She embossed, cut, and layered the white card stocks and also made the sentiment sign. She accents it with a strip of gold glitter washi down at the very bottom and a single, single pieces of clear bling. The photo corners are paper and glued to it, but we also have photo corner brads that could have been used as well. Here's a beautifully elegant seasonal card made by Susan Matthews. This is a five by seven card that features our dear brads and our cardinal and cardinal profile brads. I love how she created the scene of snowy hills in the background out of paper and ink and the die cut trees and deer in the foreground. It represents a really beautiful snowy scene at dusk by the way it's done. This card shows off our ornament brads. In the background, Don used Christmas tree washi tape. And she decorated the tree in the main uh, sentiment area there with red and white glitter enamel dots and tops it off with a gold glitter star enamel dot and used a couple of others on each side. It's such a cheery and happy looking card. Here's a little closer look. So I've talked a lot about our washi tapes so far, but it's really hard not to since we have over 800 styles. But as they say on TV, wait, there is more. Islet Outlet carries a lot of enamel dots, bling, and sequins. 
There are a lot of styles and colors of bling. Our strip bling is great because you just peel off a strip and place it on your project. And so I wanted to show you how I could add some strip bling to a card and I've pulled out Don's card that I just showed you. I'm going to put this in between the washi strips as you can see and I'm also can either use one long strip or several strips and I can even combine leftover strips so that nothing's wasted. And that's what I'm showing you here that I can combine these little pieces of strip that are left over from other things I've done and you can't tell. And also because these are strips they can also be used to go around shapes. There is nothing limiting you to say that you must use them in straight lines. What I'm doing here is just straightening them out a little bit. But once I get everything the way I like it, I had one little extra stone, so I just put that on the tree. Another really quick and easy way to get some glitter and shine onto your card is by using our glitter washi tapes. The washi tapes on both of these cards are our most popular for the holiday season. The one on the left I've shown you before in a different card and the one on the right is called Glitter Tall Tree Washi Tape. And both of these again are hugely popular. They're nice and wide and they add a lot of punch with just a little bit of time and effort. On the left card you can see our beautiful jewel and pearl strip bling as well as our sleigh brads and horse brads. On the right card, we've got the snowman couple brads, a little bit of narrow washi tape in red, another one of our large snowflake blings, and some single blings there in pearl and in clear. Here's a rustic gatefold style card with a very cool use of our brads for the door handles and plates. Don flattened the brad part and glued them to the door. She used wood grain embossing on the door panels and our wreath and cardinal brads to make the scene. She used our snowflake sequins as well to add some shine. Isn't it cool the way it opens up? And inside she uses a strip of washi tape. She used repositional glue dots that keep the doors shut, so it will be easy to display this with doors closed or open. The whole presentation is a really lovely idea, and you can substitute wreaths with snowflake brads and washi tape to turn this into a winter card. I've mentioned using washi tape for backgrounds, and let's take a look at how this works. I'm going to use the holiday washi tape to show you how this is done. I've got a card panel here, and let's say if I wanted to make this a background, I would tear a piece and lay it down just like I'm doing here. Then I'm going to take the next piece of washi, and I'm going to, in this case, offset it just a little bit, and then I'm going to butt it up to the first layer and secure that. Now you can make your edges nice by just turning over your washi tapes. Um, and this is how it looks when it's all done. You could do this the long way too if you wanted a landscape versus a portrait card. And here's another finished example of this using our foiled silver star washi tape. And I've just offset this as well to create a look that you see here. You can also create a stripe effect by using a thin strip of washi between the wider strips to create the look of specialty designer cardstock. Here's an example of one that I've started. Like before, you alternate the patterned washi by butting up the thin washi tape and repeating until the panel is covered. So after two strips, I'll put another thin strip of our washi glitter tape down Fold that over for a nice clean edge and then I'm going to place the last uh, piece of Santa washi tape. And I hope you will agree with me that this really looks like fancy designer paper, but the beauty is you get to customize it the way you want it to be. Now if you only need a thin card border, you can apply it just around the edge like I'm doing with this copper washi tape. Non-pattern washi tape, of course, works best this way, only because it will not show where the tape edges meet. One of the things I really like about this particular technique is that I don't have to waste any specialty foil or glitter or other fancy expensive cardstock just to get that little bit of border around a card panel. As you can see, it's really easy just to add a strip of washi around all four sides of the card panel. 
and I just recommend that once you get them in place, you press down at on the areas where the washi tape intersects. This helps the intersections to be almost invisible. Here's how it looks with the Santa panel I showed you earlier. Any seams you might have noticed do disappear once you put the panel on the top like this. It's a great technique. Here's another really fantastic way to create some quick cards using your washi tape. Just layer your washi tape the way I showed you a moment ago and then cut those card panels into long, tall triangles. Put some bling on them, layer them up on a card front like this and add a sentiment, maybe add some enamel dots like we've done here and you've got the quickest, simplest and yet so pretty card that you can send to your friends and family. I love this idea. As I mentioned, washi can also be laid down and then punched to create shapes or words. Here's a few examples of this. The washi is not so tough as to make it hard to cut. These examples were actually made with punches and dies. I've also used this technique to cut with my Cricut Explore. The hearts were punched out after laying three red glitter tape rows together and one row of wide washi was used to cut out the word happy with a die. The large stars and hearts and the gold hello were also cut from dies and punches. Just punch out your shapes and then use them on your cards as embellishments. This is another great use of your existing tools to expand your capabilities. Always a good thing. Here is an example of these techniques from Don. The stars are actually glitter washi that was placed in strips and then cut out like I demonstrated. On the panel in the back, she applied her Santa washi with strips of thin red and white washi between. The front panel is stamped with a word tree and she decorated it with assorted glitter enamel dots. Mr. and Mrs. Claus brads at the bottom and they sure are cute, aren't they? So you can see how nice this works and how it can also expand your embellishments that you can use on your cards very inexpensively and quickly. Here's a really fun 5x7 card from Susan Matthews. She again used cut paper to form hills and then staged a forest of our tree brads. A ladder shows two of our nutcracker brads putting the red bling on tops of all the trees. Our red truck and classic car brads are in the background while a snowman brad couple are enjoying a sleigh ride pulled by our cute little deer brad. The star paper in the background is covered with clear bling in the centers of most of the stars and these represent either stars or snowflakes equally well. The beautiful large jewel snowflake bling is just perfect here. This is really big and is fully two inches across. You've got to get some of these, ladies and gentlemen. It is so stunning, but so quick and simple to use. Substituting horse brads for the nutcrackers and ladders and removing the red tree bling could again turn this into a stunning winter holiday card if you so chose. So far, I've talked about our washi, bling, and huge variety of brads. There's another product category, and that's our paper flowers. They come in many colors, and these are just a few. There's also some pattern colors as well. They come in a bag of 40 with three different sizes in each bag, and these are great to layer or to use by themselves with brads, enamel dots, or bling as the centers. Here's a card that features Christmas washi and our paper flowers. The background looks like designer paper, but it's actually three different Christmas washi tapes at an angle. Don also applied a thin strip of yellow washi between every third Christmas washi stripe. This is another example of using thin strips between wider strips of washi, but this time it's set at an angle for another interesting take on the technique. She used two layers of our red paper flowers and added a yellow cardstock middle and a couple of pieces of gray pearl bling to make a poinsettia. The leaves are green striped paper flower pieces cut apart from the main flower piece and tucked in under the red flower. Quick and easy and a bit more contemporary, which I personally like a lot. Up close you can really see how wonderful those flowers are. Here's a card I made where I layered up two of our red paper flowers with white glitter enamel dots to make another version of the poinsettia. I want to also point out that the silver stars and gold glitter in this banner was cut with my Cricut Explore after I layered each of the washi strips wide enough for the shapes I needed to cut. I used the 100 pound cardstock setting to cut it. Also included here are the penguin and polar bear brad sets and the background is the same Santa washi I showed you earlier. 
As a final touch, I use silver enamel dots around the sentiment. I'm going to change directions now and show you some quarantine cards. I think this hero card is beyond wonderful for honoring someone you think is a hero among us. Susan Matthews quoted a poetry line from the great Maya Angelou about heroes and she used many brads to illustrate it. Here we have the ambulance, fire truck, and police car brads from our first responder brad set. She's also used a brad from our tractor set and the wrench from our tool brad set and the stethoscope from our nurse brad set. The lines are triple spaced to create the perfect space for the brads. This card honors some of the occupations considered essential during this epidemic. The pretty bling on the letters were created by putting down a one quarter inch strip of double sided tape and then placing a strip of our clear bling down on top. She dipped it in extra fine glitter to coat the rest of the exposed tape to create this look. It's wonderful for the heroes that we need to honor right now. This is a new one from Lauren featuring our coordinating llama brads and washi tape. It's a clever word play to mean a few things like, yeah, I'm going to stay or I must stay six feet away. If you're a yoga fan, it can also be a word play on Namaste, the Hindu greeting used at the beginning or end of yoga classes. It can also be just a silly way to use llamas to define the six foot limit for social distancing. Either way, this one is a lot of fun. This one by Susan Matthews is so clever. Here the animals are practicing social distancing as they wait for their vet appointment. She used our deer brads, zebra brads, kitty brads, horse and pony brads, and puppy brads. Notice that she even used one of our black jewels for a doorknob. Thin yellow washi tape was used to mark the six foot distances for each animal. Such attention to detail, but we know these are the details that make all the difference between a so-so card and a great one. She makes her sidewalk from paper, but you could also use our brick washi to create that too if you wanted. The possibilities are truly endless with our washi and brads. This is a great one for the littles in our life. Susan Matthews explains what Zoom is while showing a bunch of cute kids having an online dance party. She uses our butterfly washi, our building block washi, zigzag blue orange washi, and our glitter heart washi tape. She's also got the computer and headphone brads as well as our music note brads. This one is so perfect for the times we are living these days. I bet there's some grandchildren out there who would love this. Here's another funny quarantine card by Susan Creech. So if 2020 were a pinata, I think it would be a beehive full of angry bees. I love this kind of meme style card. And this one features our mini bee brads. And you could use a stamp or any beehive die cut to make this one. People have been asking about nursing brads, so I'm going to show you this one as my last quarantine card today. It features our pink, red, and white heart brads and our nurse brads. So if you have a special nurse in your life, you should get these brads and make them a thank you or encouragement card like no other they will ever receive from anyone else. I promised to show you at the beginning our newest release, and you're going to love these. Here is our new grilling brad set. It includes aprons and grills in different colors. This is a great embellishment set for the backyard chefs that we all know and love. And since we're always trying to give you options, we purposely made one apron orange so it could be combined with our tool brads to represent a certain hardware store. Here's a card using one of our new grills along with lots of other masculine theme sets including our fishing brads, camping brads, shoe brads, and summer tree brads. In fact, We've got your guy covered with whatever he may be into. Cars, trucks, motorcycles, football, baseball, basketball, even beer. Our grilling brads are available in the store, so be sure to check them out after this program. Well, that wraps up my presentation for you. I hope you had fun. Please be sure to enter to win our prize pack. It's not too late to type in a comment with your brad ideas to enter. One person will be chosen as the winner, and you never know, you may see your idea come to life. Also, please remember to use code 20HOLIDAY for 20% 20 off everything in the store, even sale and clearance items. The discount is good now through Sunday, July 26th. Thanks for joining us today. Have fun shopping, and we'll see you soon. Bye.